Okay, this is David Tanner with the Landline Magazine video blog. I'm here with Laura O'Neill, the uh, Government Affairs Counsel for the <laughs> Owner Operator Independent Drivers Association. Hi, Laura. <laughs> Hi, David. Okay, uh, I guess everybody wants to know uh, wh why is this law a bad idea? This law is an incredibly bad idea because it's unsafe not only for the people driving trucks, but it's unsafe for uh, all highway users in general because essentially what it does is it creates speed differentials between uh, faster moving vehicles and uh, the slower moving trucks. Now I was driving along the 403 yesterday when I drove into Toronto. It's a highway where it seems as if there's not a lot of enforcement because I was getting lapped at 80 miles per hour. I was doing 80 down the freeway and people were just flying past me. So I couldn't even imagine. Uh, late on a Sunday night there was a heavy truck uh, traffic, but I can't even imagine during a weekday when you have heavy truck volume and those guys going slower in the right-hand lanes when you've got just all of this fast-moving uh, traffic just just uh, just whizzing past you. So it's an incredible safety hazard, not to mention in this economy, it's pretty much a, a trade barrier. It's something that's that's uh, not essential right now. It's not an environmental initiative. It's not a safety initiative. It's just incredibly uh, unwise at this juncture. So do you think this will keep uh, U.S. truckers uh, out of Ontario and Quebec? Absolutely. When you look at the industry, 96% of uh, truckers are small business truckers. They're small business guys who do not use uh, speed limiters. So essentially, when you look at what who the U.S. demographic is, it's mostly guys who do not employ these devices. And so it's just not going to be cost effective for them to come into uh, Ontario. I heard um, someone the other day, I wasn't sure if it was... Uh, uh, the transportation minister, but it was one of his spokesmen who said that, you know, it's a couple hundred bucks to get it turned on and off every every time you come into the province or leave the province, and to them it doesn't seem like to be any big deal. Uh, even in an economy not like this, to, I mean, could you imagine if you had to pay a couple hundred dollars as uh, somebody who would travel in and out of Ontario, pay that tax and that toll every time? You wouldn't leave. You wouldn't come in here and you wouldn't leave. But for some reason they seem to think it's acceptable for truckers to pay a couple hundred dollars to enter or leave the province if they, uh, to get the speed limiter engaged or disabled. Okay, Laura, thanks very much. Thank you, David.